Since the conditional statements are very important, I would like to go a little deep into how the if conditions work. So let me create a new program on pour.py. As usual, let's start with the comment. I'm going to introduce you to, not introduce, we already covered it, so I'm going to go a little deep into how the if conditions work. If conditions work. And to start with, let us get some input from the user. Enter a number. So be number one. And then we'll get another input. Input there number two. Then let us write an if condition. So, one thing we need to notice after the if keyword, you are following it with a condition, right? Like if a is greater than b, or you can say if a is greater than 0, you can put any condition here you want. But what happens when you put a condition like a greater than b? If this condition is met, which means if this condition is true, this expression as such evaluates into a boolean with the value true. Okay. So this is what it will evaluate to. And if that condition a greater than b is not correct, this condition is not met, this actually returns a false. It is false, the capital F. So the if condition, how it works is, if and the subsequent expression, if it evaluates it to true, then the if block is executed. If the subsequent condition evaluates to false, the if block does not get executed. If there is a corresponding else block, the control goes to the else block. Else, it will just come out of the if block. So instead of writing a condition, if I want to just always execute something, I can also choose to do this. True, I can say, print this code will always be executed. And if I put an else statement here, this code will never get executed. Why is that? Because here I have hard coded the value true. So this is always going to be true, right? Instead of having some variable and comparing it with another variable, I have hard coded a value true, so this will be always met, so the if part will be always executed, irrespective of the values of a and b, and the else part will never get executed, because the if block will be executed. Let us execute this program. Con, con4, py. Let us uh, get some, give some random numbers. This code will always be executed as expected. So, what I'm trying to tell is the statements like a greater than b or b greater than a or a less than or equal to 10 or c or c b equal to equal to 100. All these expressions evaluate into a boolean true or false. Okay. So the operators used in these are called relational operators. Whenever a relational operator is used, that expression will evaluate into a true or a false.
So let me put a condition if a is greater than b and let us say I want to add one additional condition that if a is greater than 10 only then I want to print this code and here I can say a is greater than b and a is greater than only if both the conditions are met I want to execute this piece of code to do that I want to add one more condition and one more condition that can be added in this same if statement by using some logical operators the logical operators can be and or or so here I have to use an and logical operator and I am saying that a has to be greater than and only if both are met, this condition, this statement is going to be executed. Okay. So let's execute this. Python con four dot py. See, this is five. Okay, four. And this is three. Oh, we did the same mistake again, which is not doing the type conversion. Okay, four and two. So we got to the else block. So we are getting this piece of code. This code will never get executed. Okay. So if we meet one condition in the if statement, which is a greater than b, so that is what is meant here. A is greater than b, but still a is not greater than 10. So it came to the else block. So let us re execute this program with a greater than 10 as well as is greater than b then we get to the if block and we get this message a is greater than b and a is greater than 10 and let us um, give one example with an or logical operator so if a is greater than b or if a is greater than 10 we can print some message like a is either greater than oh I got it here greater than b or a is greater than 10 so we use an or condition Let me execute it. Number one. So let me give A something like four and B is three. A is either greater than B. In this case, yes, that's what happened. A is greater than B or A is greater than 10. So that was not true, but still the first condition is met. So we got into the if block. Let me re-execute this program again. Where we are meeting the second condition, let us uh, let's give a as 15 and a should not be greater than b for the first condition to fail. So the b, let us make it a bigger number like 25, and still we will get the same message a is greater than b. That condition did not meet, but the second condition a is greater than 10 was met, and so it came into the if condition. So that's the logical operator or. Now let's quickly look at a um, relational operator not. So I want to check if a is not equal to 0 then I will say a message that a is non zero. So not equal to is given by 
these characters exclamation mark followed by an equal to sign this combination means it is a not equal to okay this is how i am saying that if a is not equal to 0 then i want to print the message a is not equal to 0 okay so let us execute it so i give a non zero value a is not equal to 0 okay 0 when we get to the else part so that is about the relational and logical operators in python